Ooh, and we're back. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. We're in a church. It's not the best. It's, it's actually really creepy. So let's keep going. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. As our reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donation, which helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <laughs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where our reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, uh, no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Aw, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Uh, yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. Mm -hmm. What do you need? What is this place? This is our home, <coughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we were all chosen by God. Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's her mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <laughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. Well, what is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle, and the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Daniel, One. you're the living proof of their faith and mine. I know you understand. I guess I'm Sean? Oh my. Sean! You came back! I knew it! 
You've grown up and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have... It's okay. Does it... hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. It's different. Hmm. I kind of like it. Do you? Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Oh. Look. One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so... Overwhelming. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Well, not really. No. So Daniel was wrong? Hmm. You can be honest here, Sean. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. Mm. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family. Oh, God damn it. I keep accidentally doing that. And it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. I bet he does. God or you? God, of course. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Mark 3, 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him, I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I know about that poor man you beat down back in Washington, Sean. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean, what happened? Your brother came in here impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. <clears throat> I want to stay. Just go. <laughs> There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? <sighs> Daniel! 
<coughs> Let go, asshole! <coughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean! Sean. Daniel! <sighs> there you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! Okay. Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. <sighs> Fucking hell. God, Sean's just taking all the punishment. Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders. Like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! <sighs> Daniel! Sean? Karen? You won't get him back like this. Let's go. Oh, okay. Hello, Karen. Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. Okay, mum's here, which is interesting. That was a butt. Um, geez, those bruises. Consequences. And new clothes for one side. Didn't clean the pain away, but 
That felt good. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Uh, what? Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's miracles? This country is just. Way too big. Yeah. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Kinda pretty. Wonder if she made it. I know I shouldn't peek, but <laughs> whatever. I mean, yeah, I would. Karen did her own road trip to get here. She's a poet. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. at work and love some and good marriage. Cute. Don't need to know about the condoms. I missed like four. Hmm. There's a hole in the area. I really should finish reading this someday. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Yay. Technology. Hmm. She came prepared. Jeez. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Looks like a roach motel. Mm -hmm. But Nobody will find me there. Be right back. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Jeez. It only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. Jacob, how did he even? We've come a long, long way, buddy. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. This is a closet. Oh, 
guess these are the clothes, I guess. Yeah. Time to hit up Jacob. Yeah. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Okay. Use the other phone then. Hey, Jacob. I vaguely remember you. Well, not vaguely, I do remember him. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way! I've been waiting to hear from you for months! So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a... a Wild mice ranch billboard there? I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Oh. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. I'm so drained. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. I'm not going out. <laughs> Better wait for Karen in here. Alright, looks at everything. Let's wait. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. I know what you're getting at, Sean. Mm, you know. mm. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Altar boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> Double cheese, no onion, right? That'll do. <laughs> Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff. For your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean. I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago? You didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? We just got lucky mm. and got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why. If you care. So, ask me anything. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. 
Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Guess I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. Yeah, okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be. And that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, do I stay angry? I'm not. We were a real family. Without you. Well, Esteban was meant to be a father. I knew he would take care of you the way you deserve. Except he's dead. We've got no one left. Sorry, you're a real whiny kid. Still 16? 17? Yeah. Real whiny. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I miss watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. 
I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. So, what did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans. Which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Immature, sounds immature. You did that too, kiddo, so you can talk. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I found my place in the world with like minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Cool plan, Mom. You hurt Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church, <laughs> cult, whatever. <sighs> whatever. You sound so careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. I get it. I get it. But... Hey, um, mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. I get it. But I also get why Sean would be pissed. Wow. Supremely pissed. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. No oh, man, Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck, life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes, long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Mm -hmm. 
and I would just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same thing with my best friend, Lila. Smoking on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. Mm. And you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. I get it. I get why she fucked up. She fucked up doing it. But I get why. Sometimes it's just not what it's shaped up to be. I've been through that. Not kids, but it's similar. Yeah. It's tough. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Sorry, I'm seeing all these like animation bits because yeah, I'm an animation student. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Come on. So many choices, fuck. Just, ugh. Ugh. Just, yeah. Oh my god. It's like I'm pissed, but also. Not jabbing yourself with an empty eye socket with a freaking whatever. Yes. Thanks. So. You feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Is this supposed to be dialogue here? No, oh, she's Here, try this on. How do I look? Great. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. <sighs> Whatever it takes. Thank you. 
good view. Damn it. Sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? He's a cool little kid. I just didn't want him to grow up so fast. It's good you were there for him. Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things. I, I took a blanket from your tent and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. So... You came back here after you escaped, but with a dazed little boy, and everybody was cool with that? Trust me, it was not an easy thing for me to come back. And, yeah, they took us in. That's what they do here. They take people in. Except they didn't want to take me in yesterday. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Did you even try to stop her? Sean, stop it. Why did you think I wrote to your mother? Ugh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not going to ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister, too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. <sighs> She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Elizabeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. Yep. No vaccinations. We need his help too, Sean. <sighs> okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Mm. Mm. Oh. Damn, 
like these aerial shots. I also like them. So screenshotting. But I feel like this is implying like the whole thing's gonna be a crater by the end of this. So yeah, Jacob's changed. Got a little cleaned up. Bless him. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay, Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. It's gonna get more complicated. And you sure Elizabeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. So, did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Karen. Everything all right? Yeah, don't worry about me. I found the best hiding spot. Creek view is kinda great. Cool. Be careful, though. You never know. Thanks, Sean. I will. Let's go through the front door. Nope. Hello. Don't mind us. I'm just going to go around the back here. Even though she definitely saw that. Just go here. It's fine. It's fine. It's the worst sneaking. It's for daylight. What is... okay. Literally broad daylight, what even... Bye, lady. Okay. There it is. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we never close our door. A closed door is a closed heart, she says. Hmm. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. Yay. So where we are snuck. the files? Right there, in her office. We did oh, a sneak. Of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. <coughs> Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. <sighs> Whoa. Are you okay? Damn. This is so artless. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no. It it's just so full of memories and stuff. The moat and the beam. Huh? <laughs> well, no wonder she felt like a twig. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Oh. 
Okay. Bangs on his head with that. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. <sighs> Nothing here. Check the other two, whatever. Does she even believe in any of this? That's the question. Like, I think she does, but she why is it a dream? Mm. <sighs> Nothing interesting. Why is there a drain in the bedroom? Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. There we go. All right. Okay. I found a key. Good. Let's try it. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. Found your letter for Jacob. Too bad Lisbeth found it first. She took it from the mail? Damn that woman. Yeah. She checks everything that comes and goes into the community. Sean, is everything all right in there? Uh, yes. We're trying to get into her office. She's locked it up, so it has to be there. Fine. I'll let you know if I see anything unusual. Got it. What a great fucking family portrait. <laughs> she sure likes to gaze at her own success. <laughs> Don't see anything of interest. Yeah, she smokes though. Okay, last draw. Whoa. They kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Huh. Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Elizabeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. Petty liked to have it back. Once he's out of this... mess. Yeah, take that. Right, let's get okay. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? He looks happy. Does Fuck. I can't believe I missed it. 
Does he though? Does he though? Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, shit. People are really all over his power. So much for secrecy. No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. Oh. Oh. Alright there, Jacob. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> this is quite the change from power Baron friends. Locked, of course. <sighs> Shit. Maybe it opens the other door. Oh, okay. Can't be that easy. But who cares? Okay, 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 okay. Shimmy on over here. Yes, that's the one. Oh, it was the only one. Perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you, too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you like. Sick? Conversion therapy? Do they... Wanted to cure you from... Being... Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Is that why you ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared, confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean, you met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. <clears throat> Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Instead, I, I just heard him. Oh, buddy. You didn't know this would happen, Jake. His powers tripped me out, too. Don't worry. We'll get him out. I hope so. Oh, and buddy. I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. 
I hope they'll help her. Keep our money. For your sister. She needs it. Oh, I, I can't do that, Sean. That, that, that's a lot of, we're okay. It will cover her medical bills. Wow. Thank you, Sean. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, Trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. No, yeah. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> really, buddy? Come on, Sean, we need to hide. Dude, what are you doing? Finds us here, we're screwed. Huh. Yeah, I'm closet, buddy. Come on. Huh. Oh, okay. Really? Better tell Elizabeth about this. All right, let's see. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Sean, do you think it's gotta be Karen? Oh, he's gone. Let's get out of here. Oh man, that was crazy. I really thought he was gonna catch us. The guy's leaving. It looks like my diversion worked out. <sighs> yeah. Nice job. Does she read anything else? <laughs> okay, we shouldn't be here. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, buddy. <sighs> God, I'm pulling out all the stops. Look at that. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. <laughs> yeah. I guess she is. So we're all good now? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. It was that walk. <laughs> okay, Karen's kind of cool. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Oh my god. Awesome. Talk later. Okay, we're going to church. Going through the back door, probably not. Oh yeah, go through the back door. Nope. Fine. Locked, of course. Of course. Alright, let's go. Billboards. Okay, 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 okay. So you know what you're gonna do? No. But let's do it. Where the fuck did you come from? Oh Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble Sean. servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. 
speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean, you came back? Enano, little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here. For you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, yep. let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but... I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? Uh, I... Oh, That's God, right. could I... You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, oh. his true family. Oh. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh. Holy shit. Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. Oh, God, help me. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wouldn't this do that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust.
Don't listen to her religious bullshit. You need to have faith in yourself, not in her. But you said heaven and God existed. Why are you lying? You are right. Mm. He's wicked, unfaithful. She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah, they knew she was crazy. So she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Liar. I left on my own because they were all blind. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. I found a letter from Karen, our mother, inside her house. She hid it from you, so you never know. She's looking for you. What? You told me she didn't want to see me. See what you have done? Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is gonna keep me away from you. I said stop! <sighs> came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need- Ugh. Sean! He must learn. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I'm taking this- Listen. I'm taking all this shit, all episode. I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I took you for granted. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry. Don't listen to him. He left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. Don't let them do that, Daniel. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. If I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room. Reference. In Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, <laughs> then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anno. Stop so it! we have to keep going no. forward. What are You're you gonna doing? kill him! Please! <sighs> He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Nope. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's do it. Nothing. Nothing is going to stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know her. Please. Stop. Leave him alone. Daniel. Listen to him. Come on, Daniel. I won't stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back. Again. And again. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with it. No! Stop! <gasps> Daniel! Sean! Get out of here. Now. 
Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Yep, thank you. Oh no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Move. Let us go. Move it. You won't leave this place. Not with me alive. Sorry, I keep. Oh, I want to leave something. Yeah, no, I like chat. I have to like alt tab. <sighs> oh, I'm not good. I'm not good. Don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh this is a really fucking tough one. I don't think I could ask Daniel to do that. Not after all he's been through. Yeah, okay. I said move! Or I will hurt you. Sean, foolish child. You can't threaten me with death. I embrace it. I know what awaits me. Oh, okay. Yep, okay. Thanks, Daniel. Open the door, Nun. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore! Ugh.